I think what makes a good marriage, especially for both of them, is just how they're so honest with each other. They're very compassionate and they really feed off each other, you know? Like, you really need to depend on your significant other for, so, for some things and the, the other person depends for other things, you know? My parents have always been on the same side, um, no matter what decisions over the, over, uh, although they'll have some disagreements, uh, and every now and then they'll have the occasional uh, spat over who is right. They're always willing to see the other person's side and no matter what happens, if anything goes wrong, they'll, uh, they're the first ones to see them through. Dad is the only person that can pick up from when you left off. It's when you're telling a story and, you know, person X did this, person Y did that, and then, oh, 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 oh wait, someone else will tell the story for you. That, at the end of the day, is the only person that can do it properly. My parents are very opposite personalities. Like, my dad is a little quieter, and my mom's a little bit more out there, let's say. They're both extremely smart. I feel, though, that my dad is more into theory and more into uh, the concepts behind things, and my mom is, like I said, very organized and very... Uh, their intellect complement each other in uh, their own way. Both of them are at such a level of, of compatibility. Like they go so well together on that level that I don't know that such minor personality things don't even matter anymore. Like they just, they feed off each other and they like, I don't know, they just get each other. Sometimes it's really weird for everyone in their room. I love how you both blame each other for what happens to be both your faults, but it's okay because you guys have been going 25 years strong and you guys are still the dynamic duo that you still are. They're both really cool. <laughs> like that, that for me, that's, that's the one thing between the two of them. Um, they're both really, really cool people, like end of the day, and they're both very, very kind. And I think that um, beyond anything is where they complement each other most. Mom and Dad, happy anniversary. I love you both to death. Please don't be lovey-dovey in your anniversary. It'll just be corny for both of us and for everyone in the room. And yeah, thanks for taking care of us for such a long time. You're great parents and I love you. Happy anniversary, Mom. It's your 25th and to the strongest, most diligent, most intelligent woman I know. Um, and the same goes to my dad. Um, have a happy, happy silver anniversary because I've never seen you guys happier and you deserve it. You two are the embodiment of what a happy marriage is and that is all anyone could ever ask for. That is all anyone could ever see from the both of you and that is what I should strive for when the time comes. I love the both of you so much. Um, and I'm just so happy to see the both of you happy. Twenty-five years. It's really hard to uh, take in that it's been twenty-five years because it uh, goes both ways. It's just sometimes it feels like it's been an instant because, well, as they say, uh, time goes quickly when you're having fun. But at the same time, it's been like a lifetime because we have been through so many adventures, some misadventures, but the entire time was uh, always filled and uh, it's remembered as a time of uh, joy, of contentment and of love. On our wedding day, I told you that there is nowhere else I would rather be than be with you. There's nowhere else I'd rather be than be at my wedding with you. It turns out 25 years on, I still feel exactly the same way. There's nowhere else I would rather be than by your side, and there's nowhere else I would rather be than married to you. They say that a good wife is a gift of God. Well, Lisa, you are God's gift to me. I love you. Happy anniversary.